Malawi is a small country in uh, Southeast Africa. Uh, statistics say now we have about 13.1 million people in Malawi. We've been independent since 1964. And uh, in that time, Malawi has produced and kept in Malawi, we have uh, less than 200 medical doctors in Malawi. That's Malawi. And our city is like the long way, it's our capital city. The nicer parts of the long way, there are about maybe 100,000 people. Then you have townships in the long way. Most families don't have access to clean water. Our life expectancy, our middle age is at 18, because most Malawians do not go past 37. In Africa, when you look at, uh, at independence, we start from somewhere, we never move forward, we go backwards. Why is that? Malawi is among uh, the 10 poorest nations on earth. Yet Malawi has got uh, three freshwater lakes and one saltwater lake. Timber, we have minerals, fertile soils, peace-loving people, yet we're desperately poor. I was fortunate uh, to come to this nation to study. When I was in this country, I read your history. In my study, I found that uh, the United States became a great nation because of certain values, certain ideas, certain principles that the founding fathers of this nation held dear to their hearts. That made a difference. Hard work, integrity, honesty. Those are the things that built America. But now back home in Malawi, it's common to see our leaders have everything. And the poor have nothing. And nobody says anything. In America, on the other hand, I remember when there was Katrina here in America. The people who are not even affected by Katrina were sending help to the victims of Katrina. The people, not the government, the people were doing that. We don't see that in Malawi. One corner of America affected, everybody gets affected. They want to help. So these beliefs, these values that the founding fathers actually planted in your hearts are passed on from generation to generation. That has made a difference. Back home in Malawi, our founding fathers, our presidents, it has cost them nothing. They have taken from the people instead of giving to the country. So do they love Malawi? My answer is no. Our presidents have many palaces in Malawi, many palaces. The United States, a great nation as it is, has two state residences, the White House and Camp David. Malawi has more than five big ones, small country, 13.1 million. Why do we do that? Because we don't have a heart for our people. We started a group known as the Servants of the Nation. The idea was that um, we should share with our people that uh, every human being has something to give, has something to contribute to his society. Because poverty is not having nothing. It's actually failing to use what you have been given to your two hands, your brain, your two legs. But every human being has something that he can use to help somebody else. So Seven Nation was born, and we started teaching people just ideas, saying, okay, you have something. We would go to a community in a village, ask the chief, saying, okay, fine, find, help us find the most destitute in your community. 99% of the time, it's a woman whose kids are all gone because of HIV and AIDS. She's on her own, she lives in a house, no roof, uh, no food, no beddings, nothing. Then we'll tell the chiefs, okay, fine, invite all your villagers, and they'll put this lady in the middle of the circle there. And uh, I would ask simple <coughs> questions and say to them, okay, how many people in here believe there's God? Almost every hand would go up. Everybody believes there's God. I said, okay, fine, okay. How many believe that God is our Father? 
Almost everybody would raise their hand and say, God is our Father. All of them believed that. I said, okay, fine. Then I would say, okay, fine. If you, your brother or your sister was sick in hospital and they told you that uh, for them to recover, they need about a dollar from you, would you pay the doctors for your brother to get well? Almost, oh, yes, I will do that. Okay, great. And then I said to them, you have said to me that we have one father, God. And that makes this woman our sister. Why aren't we doing anything? And people will say, we have nothing. I say, no, no, no. no. Let's go. How do you build your homes over here? Okay, grass, poles, mud, all this kind of thing. Then I would urge them, I say, you know what? Let's do something here. Then the villagers together would discover that some would bring a band of grass, some a bucket of water, some just poles, and would demonstrate and fix this woman a home. We have done this hundreds of times in Malawi. When we planted these Servants of the Nation groups in all constituencies, Malawi has got 193 constituencies. These are political divisions, uh, similar to maybe legislative districts in the United States here. So we've got men and women who we call uh, our shadow MPs, members of parliament in those areas. And these are the men who carry these ideas of saying that we cannot wait to be given something. Let's use what we have. If we use what we have, more things will follow. As servants of the nation, our group, every day we help another human being, we win. If we help one person today, we win. Two people, we win. Because if we don't help anybody, we have lost that day. That has been our battle cry. It has been our statement again and again and again. And people now have started trusting us. We have found that um, as servants of the nation, the quickest way to gain leadership anywhere is not long speeches, but to solve a problem. When we solve a problem, or that perception is created that you, people, these people are problem solvers, people rally behind you. You solve one problem, people think you can solve many other problems. But now with the idea of saying, okay, everyone has something. If we work hard, if we think, we use what we have, we all have something. Anyone who sincerely helps other people never loses. You can't lose. It's not possible. It's not possible. Even, you, even if you help five people, you have not lost. If people change their minds, it becomes a better father comes a better mother today because I live, because I exist, because of our meeting, for me that's a victory. But ideas cannot be stopped. Ideas are things. Ideas are powerful. Demonstrate them. Live them. That's what we do.